and loaders are one of the most commonly used types of heavy equipment. These machines are found in a variety of industries, completing a magnitude of different tasks, but are typically focused on earth moving. These machines may not be the largest or viewed as the most hazardous on a job, but year after year they are responsible for many injuries and fatalities. How can you safely operate and work around a front-end loader? What are the top hazards you should be aware of? As an operator, you're a skilled professional who's responsible for an expensive piece of equipment, as well as the safety of those around you. Not only do you need to be aware of how your front-end loader operates, but also how you can safely navigate it throughout your workplace. While there are many types of front-end loaders, the same basic mechanics are similar throughout. You should never begin to operate a front-end loader unless you've been fully trained and authorized by your organization. Welcome to the Front-End Loader Orientation Safety Course. During this training, we will cover the following learning objectives. Inspection and Maintenance Operation and Awareness Common Hazards Incident Prevention Before ever operating any front-end loader, you should always complete a daily inspection. This should, at a minimum, cover the following. Complete a visual walkthrough of the entire front-end loader, looking for any visible damage or concerns. Open up the cab door and engine hood to inspect as well. Be sure to check all fluid levels, oil, battery, transmission, hydraulic, radiator, and the fuel. Check all of your hoses, belts, and fittings for any damage or leaks. Ensure that your cab is clean and free of items that could get under your feet while operating the equipment. Check the addition of tires for evidence of any cuts or damage. Check all functionality, including wipers, signals, warning lights, and backup alarms. Always be sure to raise and lower your bucket to ensure smooth operation. One of the most important preventative measures but one that is often overlooked, is maintenance. It is essential for safe operation. Front-end loaders work in a variety of difficult, outdoor environments and can regularly be exposed to other hazards that may impact their ability to function properly. Therefore, daily maintenance, along with inspections, are essential to ensure that the loader is in good operating condition. Because of the variety and types of front-end loaders available, always refer to your specific equipment maintenance manual and follow the safe operating procedures outlined there. One important element to also consider is when you're performing any maintenance in or under the bucket. Always be sure to properly secure and position the bucket to avoid injury. Always inspect and check that your hydraulics are working properly, including reviewing for any leaks. Always shut off the engine when refueling and run the fuel nozzle against the filler neck to avoid any static buildup of fuel vapors. After your inspection and maintenance review, you're ready to begin operating the front-end loader. One of the most common incidents from operating a front-end loader actually occurs before you even start the engine. Entering and exiting the cab should always be completed with extra precaution. Always maintain three points of contact with the loader as you ascend or descend. Once you've entered the cab, there are several best practices to consider before operating the loader. Always operate the loader within its design limits. Read the operator's manual prior to using any front-end loader. Ensure you have the proper training for the type of loader that you are using. Never overload the equipment. Check against the load limits your equipment has. Always use proper lifting and rigging techniques when lifting a load. Travel with loads or attachments low to the ground. Never carry passengers on a front-end loader unless it is designed to do so. Set up your workplace area and related tasks in such a way that foot traffic is eliminated or minimized around where heavy equipment is operating. Always utilize a spotter for tasks when personnel or property can be struck. Try to minimize backing the front-end loader up as much as possible. Backing up, because of more blind spots, leads to more incidents than when moving forward. And of course, always wear your seatbelt when operating any type of vehicle or heavy equipment. 
While most front end loaders won't operate at high speeds, the use of a seatbelt is extra important to protect the operator from being thrown from the vehicle during an overturn. Never operate the equipment without rollover protection in place. It's important to remember that during operation, the front end loader's center of gravity and the stability can change and shift throughout the task, which may result in an unsafe condition. The changing center of gravity also presents a potential tip or rollover hazard for the operator. To help prevent this situation, use a front end loader only for its intended purpose. When traveling, keep the loaded bucket low. Always watch for overhead clearance with the bucket raised and never move or swing a load with people in the work area. Never allow people to ride in the bucket or anywhere else on the equipment, as this has led to serious injuries and even death when operators attempted to start a loader from an unsafe position other than seated in the cab. The next step is to verify the operation of all instruments and controls. Any malfunctions must be reported to your supervisor for repair and the front end loader should be locked out and tagged out immediately. Do not operate the front end loader if any components are not functioning properly. Loaders are workhorses, but not intended for high-speed operation. Be especially careful operating at any location. Often, 5 miles per hour is posted on job sites, but if not, use your best judgment to drive safely with the current environmental conditions. There are always people and other equipment around the job to be aware of. Keep in mind the braking conditions may vary due to mud, loose gravel, the bucket load, or other conditions, especially weather related. Be sure to always drive around ditches, not across them. Back the loader out when stuck or carrying a load. Drive straight down, even the gentlest slope. Don't drive diagonally across it and turn downhill when working across the slope. Never coast downhill. Before starting, downshift to a lower gear that prevents freewheeling and excessive braking. Try to use the same gear to go down a hill that you'd use to pull the load uphill to prevent sideways tip overs. Match your speed to conditions and load weights and always avoid depressions and ditches. If you're having to work inside buildings, watch for low ceiling beams and doorways to prevent being crushed between them and the loader. Always be sure there's enough ventilation so that carbon monoxide from the lower engine will not build up. While every workplace and environment is different, always consider these additional precautions. Be careful in backfilling. The weight of the material plus the weight of the loader could cause a trench to collapse. Avoid undercutting high banks and watch for falling rocks and cave-ins. A front end loader's turning radius is much quicker and smaller than most equipment, and taking a curve too fast can result in a turnover. There are three common types of front-end loader incidents that can result in serious injuries or fatalities. Struck by incidents, caught in or between incidents, and tip-overs. Struck by incidents. Many of the fatalities associated with front-end loaders were a result of a struck by incident. All too often, ground personnel find themselves in a blind spot and an operator will strike them with the loader. Also, the load carried by a front-end loader can strike personnel on the ground causing serious injuries or even death. Caught in or between. Similar to struck by incidents, caught in or between incidents are responsible for many injuries and fatalities. Workers can find themselves pinned in between the front end loader and another object, such as other machinery. The load the machine is carrying or working underneath the attachment in the front of the machine can also create an incident where a worker suffers a caught in or between injury. Tip overs. When a front-end loader is operated outside of its design limits or in an unsafe way, they are susceptible to tip-over incidents. Loads that are too heavy, uneven terrain, and unsafe speeds are a few common factors for tip-over incidents. The best way to prevent these common hazards is by situational awareness, using a spotter, and taking your time during any workplace task, always providing ample opportunity for feedback from other personnel. Anyone in the vicinity of the loader is at a risk of being run over. 
It's your responsibility to be sure the area is clear before moving the loader. Roanovers often occur due to the driver's inability to see the personnel who may be in the line of travel for where the front-end loader is operating. Workers can easily become crushed when standing between the loader head and other objects. Often, the causes are related to the inability to see clearly over the equipment, a breakdown of communication, a lack of control of the loader, or the worker on the ground is in the wrong location. Be sure to check carefully before moving and never allow anyone to enter the area between the loader articulation. Loaders have plenty of pinch points, any of which can remove fingers or limbs in an instant. Take extra care when placing any part of your body in the vicinity of a pinch point. Be sure you know where the pinch points are located and the warning labels are clear and legible. Workers should never approach a loader on foot until they signal the operator and get acknowledgement of their presence. Workers should never be allowed to stand under suspended loads or machine components, such as the arm or the bucket. High speed, inexperienced operators can lead to unsafe equipment operation. Watch your speed. A front end loader cannot react quickly to high speeds, which is why there should always be a requirement for slow moving vehicle signage in a workplace. Always pull over and let traffic pass, with extra vigilance taken when at an intersection. Always follow the rules of the road. When leaving your front end loader, lower the bucket to the ground. Complete through a final review to ensure everything is turned off, the cab is locked and secure, and then proceed to safely exit the front end loader. Front-end loaders are extremely versatile and useful in many workplaces today. That being said, they also can be very dangerous to operate and even work around. Take the time to evaluate the hazards of the tasks involving front-end loader use, and then try to eliminate as many hazards as possible prior to beginning any work. Take this time to ask yourself, what are some of the hazards created by the front-end loader operation in our workplace? What steps does my company have in place to protect us during front end loader operation? During the safety training course, we have covered the following learning objectives. Inspection and maintenance. Operation and awareness. Common hazards. Incident prevention. There's always plenty of activity on the job and significant opportunity for an unwanted event to occur. However, through your awareness and training, you can prevent the likelihood of an incident at your workplace. Work with your supervisor to understand the specific types of front-end loaders used at your workplace, the company-specific safety measures, and always ask questions to have a clear understanding of the scope of work required. Thank you for working at safety.